Hello? From Jaffa, Indonesia? Meet me over at my grandmother's house in 10 minutes. We're gonna do a contour party. I'll see you there, bye-bye. Jaffa, Indonesia is coming to the Jaffa party. Follow me. Welcome to Jan Day's guest house. Hey guys, it's Estelle Day from Malibu, California and Jan Day's guest house and we're gonna have a fun makeup party. Today, I'm gonna show you how to contour your face using Jafra's brand new contour palette, which is my favorite new Jafra product. I'm gonna show you not only how to contour your face, but I'm gonna show you how to do your entire makeup using this. So we're gonna do the eyebrows, we're gonna do the eyebrow bones, we're gonna use this palette as eyeshadow, we're gonna use it under the eyes as eyeliner, we're gonna create cheekbones, we're gonna make our noses thinner. We can use this for many different things and it's just gonna be all using this contour palette. And then after that, I'm just gonna put on some of Jaffer's new matte liquid lipstick. I have to decide between these two colors. I'm going to show you how to build your eyelashes so they look huge and you don't need to wear fake eyelashes any longer. You can say goodbye to fake eyelashes using Jaffer's mascara. If you're in one of the countries like Jaffa Indonesia, Jaffa Russia, that doesn't yet have Jaffa's contour palette available, you can substitute that with the eyeshadow trio. What you're gonna use to substitute the colors in the contour kit is Jaffa's nude eyeshadow trio. Let me just tell you which colors you're gonna substitute with what. So for the dark and medium colors on the contour kit, you're gonna use the nude eyeshadow trio. You're gonna use the darkest brown color. For the yellow color in the contour kit, you're gonna substitute that with the medium color in the middle of the nude eyeshadow trio. And then for the lightest color on the contour kit, you're gonna use the lightest color in the eyeshadow trio so that we can all now learn to contour our faces and it doesn't even matter that you don't have the contour kit available because you can do it anyway using a different product. And when it does become available, you're just you're gonna love it even more because it comes in this great little compact with a mirror and it's it's the best thing ever. So before I begin, I just want to let you know what I put on my face already. I did the full royal jelly ritual. If you don't have the royal jelly ritual or if you're new to Jaffra and you already have like an amazing lotion from another brand that you use on your face, I just want to tell you about one product which is like, it's my favorite, like I will not go without this product because literally it's like surgery in a bottle. Like I. I've never had Botox surgery or anything like that. I'm not that young anymore. Um, <laughs> but this product literally has changed my life. And it's the Cell Span Lift Concentrate. It's a Royal Jelly Lift Concentrate. And my grandmother and grandfather um, 
invented the Royal Jelly products and this little bottle will absolutely change your life. You put a little bit on, a little goes a long way, you put a little bit on all over your face and your neck. Underneath any lotion, of course, I would suggest the Royal Jelly Lotion by Jaffra, but if you're already using another product, you can put this underneath and it will enhance and completely change your face. And it will enhance the product that you're using already. And then the other thing that I would definitely recommend, which I use every single day before any makeup or any foundation, is the Royal Jelly Solar Protection Fluid, which is SPF 50. The sun is one of the most damaging things to our face. It, it, it hurts our collagen, it, it, it creates wrinkles, it creates sun damage and spots. And if you wear this every day, a very high sun protection, and this is this again has a, a magic royal jelly in it, um, it's really gonna protect your skin. So the Royal Jelly Lift Concentrate and the SPF 50 are two products I really recommend if you can't get the entire Royal Jelly uh, Ritual Collection. I would suggest those two because they will change your life as they've changed mine and thousands of other women. Um, the next thing that I put on my face is just a simple foundation. I use the Long Wear Makeup uh, Jaffra Beauty. This is actually the sample bottle of it, but it's the foundation, and again, it has SPF 20, so it protects your face from the sun. And it's I, I have very light skin, so I'm using Bare. That's the name of the color, and I put it all over my face, and that's all I've done today. So I did my royal jelly ritual. I put my Bare foundation on. And the last thing that I put on is um, the Light Color Skin Defense Concealer Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Again, this has sun protection in it. What I did with this is I just put a little bit under my eyes. And this is a lighter color than the foundation, and it's a concealer. And it just like takes away any darkness under your eyes. So that's all I've done today before coming here to meet with you. So once you have all that done, we're going to move on to my favorite new product, the Jaffra Contour Kit. I love this. This is my favorite thing ever. I'm going to tell you, as far as brushes, I, maybe it's because when I was born, I like immediately when I was like five years old, I started painting and I was actually like a fine artist before I became a fashion designer. I'm very into my brushes. So brushes are extremely important to me. So I'm just gonna show you what I use. I have one brush, which is, you can see, it's a very thin, short brush, and this is what I use for my eyeliner. Like I use it for my brows, and I use it to put eyeshadow under my eyes. Next, I have my eyeshadow brush, which is this brush. And I use this for my eyeshadow, for blending. Um, I use it, you're gonna see me use it for contour. I use it to contour my nose and, and my chin. And then the third brush that I use is for powder and for uh, the contour. And that's this brush. It actually used to have a long stick to it, but I, I took the stick off so I can kind of feel my face more when I use it. These three brushes are all I use for my makeup. Like, it's not much. I'm very particular. I, I think all you need are these three brushes or something like it. Now that I have my contour and foundation on, take the palette and I'm first going to do the darkest areas. So for me, I'm going to use the darkest color and I'm going to put it on my blush brush and you have to bear with me because there's a mirror right below the camera so I'm going to just do it in the mirror as I'm looking in the mirror. Um, so what I do is I do the darkest color, I get it on my brush and I go, I start here and I go around the hairline. And I keep grabbing more in the palette and I make a three. So I go down my cheekbone and around under, under my jawline. And I go around my hairline. You have to bear with me because the mirror 
under the camera is a, it's a little awkward. <laughs> so I, I'm doing the best I can. I'm sorry if it looks a little strange. So I go around my hairline and down my cheekbone and I make a three. So I go back around here under my jaw, under my chin, and up my jaw. And you keep doing this. Now if you have really dark skin, um, because your skin's already dark, you can actually get away with just doing the highlight section of this. Um, you can just use the high, when I show you, you know, the, how to highlight, you can actually just use, if your skin's already dark, you can just use the color of your skin for the dark areas and then you can just use the lighter um, colors from this palette to highlight. So now I'm going over here, I'm doing that three again and I'm going around my hairline. So you make a three. I hope that, that you can see what I'm doing. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing. <laughs> this mirror is like extremely awkward. I don't know if you guys have ever done uh, a makeup video, but it's very, um, it's very awkward to do the makeup while the camera is in your face and 